Hi there, Jeffrey Rose from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and CherryAnnRichardson.com. Please subscribe, hit that join button, join our membership. Uh, give us comments down below. Uh, we appreciate the comments. We do read them and we try to respond to them. Um, well, it was Monday. <laughs> it was back to work for me. Um, and it's looking more and more like, uh, the railroad strike may happen. Uh, this would be a very, very bad thing. Uh, we're talking over a hundred thousand railroad employees walking off the job, uh, which means basically the rail transportation of goods would stop. Um, there are not enough uh, semi-truck drivers available to, uh, pick up the slack. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the trucking industry is already struggling itself, um, to handle the, uh, goods that are being transported. Um, you know, this is part of why we have you know, some of the supply issues that we have at the moment. Um, so the railroads, you know, would severely uh, impact the uh, economy. Um, it could be a major disruption. Uh, whew, excuse me. Oh. And the fact that it is happening right at the holidays um, is another, you know, bad thing. Um, you know, this could, this could seriously disrupt everything. Um, so, unfortunately, um, about the only thing that can be done at this point, uh, because it seems like the uh, railroad companies have, uh, basically, you know, stopped trying to negotiate, um, and are more or less waiting to see what happens. Um, and so, you know, basically Congress intervening would be about the only thing that would, uh, potentially stop the strike at this point. Um, and unfortunately, you know, getting Congress involved could be even worse. Uh, you know, we've seen, uh, some of what happens when Congress gets involved in, in things. Uh, they recently have, you know, not had the best, uh, track record for, um, uh, you know, finding good solutions to the problems. Um, it's also come to light that uh, Biden has uh, approved uh, Chevron going into Venezuela and uh, pumping crude oil and transporting it to the U.S., to be refined. Um, unfortunately, you know, it's the Biden administration has basically set a timeline of six months, and uh, Chevron has said that it's going to take longer than that to get the uh, uh, infrastructure uh, fixed in Venezuela uh, in order to pump the, the crude oil. Um, because basically it's equipment that hasn't been used since 2017. Um, so, you know, it's, it's old, it's unused, uh, has not been used in quite a number of years. So, um, it's going to take a while to get operational again. So, uh... They have also approved a new uh, 
oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico uh, off the coast of Texas um, that uh, is supposed to be, you know, is going to be pumping like 2 million gallons of crude oil a day. Uh, which is 10% of uh, the country's usage. Um, and of course, this is, you know, this has been done basically in, in private, in secret, uh, up until now. Um, because, you know, Biden had said no more drilling, um, you know, and suddenly, oh, look, he's just approved a new oil rig. Um, but as was pointed out, you know, this is a, a massive oil rig uh, over the ocean. Um, not necessarily the most environmentally uh, safe and friendly situation um, versus you know, the Keystone Pipeline uh, that Biden shut down that uh, was much more um, environmentally safe uh, for pumping oil um, and would have provided a lot more oil. Um, but, hey, you know, not my decision, not my... Uh, not my monkey, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't make those, those choices, um, so, uh, all I can do is talk about them, <sighs> oh, so, uh, you know, just all sorts of, of, you know, <laughs> fun, happy news, um, over the weekend, um, people in China have uh, started protesting uh, the government's um, forced lockdowns, uh, their, their no-COVID approach, um, and it seems to be growing uh, more and more. Uh, people are taking to the streets and protesting. Um, and protesting against uh, the Chinese president and calling for his resignation. Uh, basically saying that he's more of a dictator than a president. Uh, they're also, you know, protesting against the Communist Party in their country, um, and, uh, you know, from my understanding, they're, they're, one of the things they're calling for is, is shaking off the uh, communist fist, um, so we will have to wait and see uh, where this goes um, as to, you know, what, what the results might wind up being, um, and whether China, you know, sees a, a massive political change, um, or whether this protest gets, uh, squashed. Um, so, we are living in some interesting times right now. Um, there's some, uh, you know, lots of things going on. Um, there's also, it, it looks very much like there is going to be a, uh, Republican, uh, investigation into Hunter Biden, uh, as soon as the new, um, uh, Congress uh, takes it takes over in January, basically. Um, you know, once the new Congress uh, is formed and, and uh, you know 
starts working. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But, uh, you know, could get messy. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for tonight. So, once again, please subscribe. Uh, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.